the value of your second brain is determined by two crucial skills, and that is writing and thinking. You don't just want a collection of someone else's thoughts, right? You, you want a collection of their thoughts mixed with yours, which requires thinking and writing. I mean, the share button was a brilliant invention. Within seconds, you can pass along something that you found interesting to somebody else, but that comes with a cost. It's so easy to share that oftentimes we skip distilling what we read, listened to, or watched. And distilling is where you find your voice, your unique flavor, your take on things. But to distill effectively, you need the skills of thinking and writing. And so in this video, I wanna share with you the one habit that will improve your thinking and writing. Before we dive into this one habit, I do have a free gift for you for watching this video and hanging out with me today. This is my free guide on how to take book notes without using Readwise. In this free guide, you'll walk away with a simple system for highlighting books, a mindful approach for adding content to your second brain, a process for creating building blocks of knowledge for the future, and a simple tip for making connections inside of your second brain. The link to the free guide is in the description below. You may have heard it said that you only understand something when you can teach it, and I a thousand percent agree. You see, to be able to explain a concept or an idea requires that you have to sit with the information for a little bit, right? It, requ it requires your, your time and attention to the idea, the subject, the topic, the concept. So the question is, how do we get to where we can teach something we've learned? And the answer to that question is found in this one habit that we'll be talking about, which is narration. Narration in its simplest form is telling. When you narrate something, uh, you are taking information that you have consumed and filtering it through the way that, that you think and through the way that you process information and through your experiences. And what comes out is something unique and beautiful and powerful. It's, it's you, it's your flavor. Now we already narrate in our everyday lives. We, we tell of things that happen to us. When we want to convey an experience, we tell a movie, a book, a show. And if we already do this naturally, then this isn't a habit that you need to build. It's not a new habit. It's, it's a habit that you can grow and develop and redirect to a specific purpose. And, and the whole reason that we tell or narrate is because we want that that person or the audience whoever's on the other side the receiving side to experience that same moment with us from reading a book to going to see the grand canyon either way we want them to experience what we experience so we tell and this this gives us a new perspective whenever we are consuming content whenever we're reading a book because it's not only about our pleasure anymore, it's about how would I tell someone about this? What, what is lighting me up about this? What is making my heart skip a beat about what I'm reading or listening to or watching? And how can I have somebody share that moment with me? Now we wanna remember that the whole building a second brain system, any personal knowledge management system is to help you manage knowledge. And, and this is where narration shines because narration allows you to build strengthen and create a relationship with knowledge narration builds thinking skills the ability to pay attention the ability to order knowledge the ability to articulate that knowledge i've been thinking and and uh and i'm guilty of this of being efficient with software but lacking proficiency in thinking it's it's time to stop being so efficient with the software and the apps that we use and start being proficient in our thinking. The greatest return on investment when it comes to personal knowledge management is building your thinking skills. I mean, your second brain is not valuable because of the fancy app that you use. It's valuable because of the thinking inside of it. 
your thinking, your ideas, your thoughts, your dreams, your hopes. That's what makes it valuable. A simple Apple Notes system filled with rich and deep thoughts and ideas is worth far more than a complete notion set up with all the databases and relational databases, but lacking deep thought. Narration is the one habit because it simultaneously helps you remember, connect, and create. In fact, narration helps develop synthetic thinking, which is the ability to assess a situation from different perspectives and then combine them and then actualize new possibilities. In other words, the more that you narrate, the more you start to notice the connections between your thoughts and ideas and other people's thoughts and ideas with yours. By the way, if, if you want to dive deeper into the art of narration, I recommend a book uh, by Karen Glass. It's called Know and Tell the Art of Narration. Um, the majority of the insights from this video came from that book. So I recommend that you go grab it. I'll, I'll drop a link below in the description. This is a uh, from the filter and lens of education. But if you are interested in this, this topic and narration, if you're interested in building a second brain, I highly recommend that you look into this book. You may be thinking, all right, Greg, I'm sold. I'm, I'm ready to start narrating. So how, how do I do it? What does this look like? So it's very simple, which is why it's so effective. Here's how it works. After reading an, an article or, or a chapter of a book, or maybe even a page of a book, you simply answer the question, what can you tell me about this? If it helps, imagine that you are telling a friend about what you just read, what you just listened to, what you just watched. What can you tell me about this? What's beautiful and what's powerful about narration is that it is your take on what you're consuming. So in your own words, write down or, or talk out loud what stood out to you. This isn't about um, spitting out and trying to remember everything that you read, but there are certain things as you go through a book that really stand out to you, that make your heart skip a beat, that shine. It's almost like you can see the words highlighted as you're reading them before you highlight them. You just know this, this is something that I need to look further into, that I need to remember, that I need to think about. That's what stands out to you. And then you simply tell about it in your own words. And, and if you are wanting to uh, orally Talk, talk it out loud. You can record yourself with a transcription service like Otter. You can use uh, speech to text on your phone, something simple, right? But the idea is to just simply tell. What can you tell me about this? Something I've been trying to do lately is uh, rewriting titles of articles and emails that I get. Because a title is, is short and it should be the essence. An effective title is the essence. It's the, the story of what the article is about, but with that curiosity gap, right? And so to be able to write a seven word title is very difficult compared to a 700 word blog post or article, email. So something I've been trying to do is consuming, reading these articles uh, or emails that I'm getting and uh, they already come with a title, but I, I try to create my own short, distilled version of this article. It may not even be the point of the article. It may be something that stood out to me that makes me think of something that's going to be more effective in my second brain if I write this article or if I write the title of this article in a certain way. And of course, I have the the actual article saved in my notes. I just rewrite the title and the title that I write becomes the title of the note. So as you make narration a habit, you are building and developing your skills in writing and in thinking. 
and all these notes that you're creating from narration are building blocks of knowledge in your second brain. Thank you so much for your time and hanging out with me today. If you're looking for more content on personal knowledge management, building a second brain, creativity, check out this next video.